Hey guys, what's shed hunting today? Well, we call it shed hunting, it's really scouting. I mean, we're out there learning. Um, you know, it's the best time to go is right after the season. Well, we had, you know, a bunch of snow during November into muzzleloader, you know, first week of December there. Then we got, you know, we got some heavy rain and melted all the snow worn right up. So we get another seven, eight inches or so coming tonight. So I want to get out there and, uh, you know, do some shed hunting basically uh, before those get covered up. And, um, you know, but we're out there learning about the deer. You're learning where they're holed up. You're finding their rub lines. You're finding all kinds of stuff out. You're seeing some other nature stuff out there. It's just a great time. So uh, just a little video of what happened today. And uh, we found a buck. And uh, we, we learned his route. And we found a couple of killable spots. So, again, it's about getting out there and learning. Here it is. Right in this little rub, right after I seen that weasel, that ermine. Um, yeah, out here looking for sheds, man. You're learning. You're learning about your area. That's why we're out here. Enjoying life. You gotta get out here and do this shit, man. You're missing out. Okay, well, we saw that, you know, that ermine, that white weasel there, then they ran into that rub, all in this, you know, this darker green growth. And uh, other than that, it's, you know, swaley alder, wet maple, pissed maple type of stuff. Well, that rub is right on the edge of that. Then they go through that water and stuff. You know, those are coyotes and stuff before they bed. And to lose us too, people don't realize that. You know, they deer don't know that we can't smell them like a coyote. They don't know that. So they, you know, they go across water before they bed and stuff, streams, what you have, yeah to lose us as well then they bed and watch that back well i come up here from this pocket again that's why we're here they're learning and uh i jumped a nice deer right there a minute ago when i'm actually recording this but uh look like a pretty good deer obviously he dropped his rag and pff, i'm surprised i find it right in his pocket but i'll let you know <laughs> okay just a little bit down from that last rubbing that bigger cedar run into this that's a nice little triad of of rubs there he's spending some time in this pocket and just he's you kill him right here i'm going to sit up here in this fall and see if i can't get a better look at him you know he's i think that was him better up behind that cedar up top now he's heading down in this way is where the you know his line's going yeah We're learning. Okay, well that buck trail coming out of that little sanctuary there led me right out to this. So he's bedded up there during the day and then coming down through at night here and he had a bunch of heavy green growth up there, I don't know, a mile up. You know, there's a dip there in the middle there, so it probably footsteps, that's a good mile I bet. And then, um, you know, you got two brooks coming together there and uh, you know, he's coming up through here. This is where he's starting his night. He's coming off up from there all day. and He's gonna wean his way through here, feed a little bit, head up towards that green gold, try to mingle with some dollars, and uh, reverse it in the morning. What a great spot to catch him, especially in the morning if he's running late, chasing does and stuff. You know, so he'll run him right down in his pocket and yeah, you probably get him right here. Be a good spot between his sanctuary and uh, you know, as you know, earlier on the season, he'll be a little tighter out back where we come from. There, um, you know, he'll be a little tighter out back, but this is just where it starts to open up right here. So, uh you know, if you catch him late, this is it.